Good morning, Wolf Pack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Wednesday, October 27th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Look out for the Fall Fest, Thursday, October 28th, from 5 to 8 p.m. This event will take place in the CO Front Faculty Parking Lot and, uh, and in the MP Room. Admission is free, however, tickets for the food fair, thrift shop, and photo booth, and the haunted house cost 50 cents each and will be purchased at the event. Music, games, and the photo stop will be free. Make sure to wear your costumes. Be sure not to wear costume masks that fully cover your face, and be sure not to bring any fake weapons. And remember, this event is only for CO students and staff only. Come join us for our first History Day meeting tomorrow from 3.20 to 4.30 p.m. If you missed the information session, join the Google Classroom with the code shown to learn about the theme for this year. Attention all AP students, if you are planning on taking an AP exam, don't forget to join your AP classroom and pay for your AP test by November 1st. If you join or pay for it after that date, there is a $40 late fee. Come to Student Services if you have any questions. There is a fee waiver application available in Student Services as well, but you need to apply for that now in order to have enough time for it to be processed. Let's pass it over to Noah and Ashley for our In the News update. I'm Noah Seed. And I'm Ashley Borton. And we're here with your In the News update. In COVID-19 news, yesterday an advisory board for the Food and Drug Administration recommended authorizing emergency use for the Pfizer COVID vaccine on children ages 5 through 11. The FDA is believed to authorize emergency use in accordance with suggestions from their advisory committee in the coming days. If the FDA approves, then an advisory committee for the CDC will vote on authorizing emergency use as well as in the coming weeks before the Pfizer vaccines can be administered to children 5 through 11. In national news, the U.S. State Department has issued its first passport designated with X for the gender. This now puts us in the U.S. in group with quite a few other countries around the world, including Australia, New Zealand, Nepal, and Canada, where they also allow citizens to choose a gender aside from male or female in their passports. The State Department anticipates being able to offer this to all routine applicants, applicants, and form updates beginning in early 2022. In a press statement, the U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price said, I want to reiterate on the occasion of this passport issuance, the Department of State's commitment to promoting the freedom, dignity, and equality of all people, including LGBTQI plus persons. In other national news, the Atlantic coast is dealing with a storm with winds up to 94 miles per hour with over 400,000 power outages and around 500,000 homes and businesses without power. The highest gust of 94 miles per hour was reported in southeast Massachusetts. Many trees and power lines have been toppled over and schools in New England have been shut down. That's all we have for you in the news update. I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Noah Seed. Back to the anchors. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the, uh, and the, strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, wolf pack. pack.